Hi, my name is Ross Crane. I've been a well log analyst for more than 50 years, although I've taken a few side trips into other aspects of the oil and gas industry, like seismic data processing, cash flow analysis, reservoir engineering, and so on. But log analysis or petrophysics has always been my first love, and I practice it daily, even today, and I've been teaching courses in log analysis since about 1978. This is lecture 8 in your integrated petrophysical course series. Uh, the material uh, covered here is in uh, section 6 of your Crane's Petrophysical Pocket Pal, the uh, companion reference manual to this course. We'll uh, first review the visual rules for uh, lithology analysis just to uh, solidify them in your memory. I guarantee you've probably forgotten 95% of the rules already. And this will give you a chance to uh, get caught up. We'll make sure that you've finished exercise number four, uh, or at least go back to it and check and make sure you still believe the evidence that you chose and the answers uh, based on that evidence. Uh, then we'll look at the quantitative analysis models for lithology. Uh, the mathematics for this are uh, rather uh, difficult. We don't do this on calculators. Uh, in fact, uh, you would spend considerable time building a spreadsheet to do lithology analysis because the equations are quite lengthy and complicated. If you do lithology on a regular basis, uh, you might want a commercial software package or you can take the time and uh, code it into uh, a spreadsheet. It's not that difficult. We'll also talk about the effect lithology has on our water saturation uh, calculations. We'll look at picket plots which help us find the parameters A, M and N which do vary considerably with the lithology, especially in carbonate rocks. Enjoy yourself. It's quite an adventure, and I think you will learn a lot from my 50 years of experience. So have fun.